Hello, everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the mechanism and principle of flower sour tomatoes, which is one of the important examples of transgenic plants. Well, transgenic plants are the plants into which some external gene has been integrated in order to produce a desirable trait. So flower sour tomatoes is one of such examples. Now, what is flower sour tomato? So this is an engineered tomato produced to have a longer shelf life. So to delay the ripening process of the tomato uh, crop, the flower sour tomatoes were invented. Now for understanding that what exactly is special about these tomatoes, you first need to understand that what exactly happens in a normal tomato. So let's suppose that this is a normal tomato now, inside the genetic material of this tomato, there is this specific mRNA, which is responsible for producing a protein, which is known as the PG protein, which stands for polygalactourinase protein. Now, you know that enzymes are proteins, so this polygalactourinase is an enzyme. Now, what is this enzyme responsible for? This enzyme is responsible for the degradation of the tomato's cell wall pectin. So there is this specific component called pectin in the cell wall of the tomato and this polygalactourinase leads to the degradation of that pectin and hence the tomato starts to rot. And because of the wrinkles on the uh, tomato's cell wall, the shelf life decreases and it is also susceptible to several fungal infections. So the ripening happens early and the tomatoes are not good to be consumed anymore. Now, on the other hand side, when scientists wanted to discover uh, the tomatoes which have a longer shelf life, they tried to introduce certain genes into it which can lead to this outcome. So what they did in this transgenic tomato was that to this sense mRNA, the sense messenger RNA, which was responsible for the production of uh, PG protein, they produced an anti-sense mRNA, which had the sequence complementary to this sense mRNA. So now when they injected this anti-sense mRNA, this anti-sense mRNA, which is complementary to the sense mRNA, went and bound to the sense mRNA leading to the silencing of this PG gene. Now because this mRNA has been silenced which was responsible for the production of the polygalactourinase enzyme, due to this silencing the enzyme cannot be produced any further. So because of the blockage or the silencing of this gene has happened, so the enzyme is not being produced anymore which leads to the delay in the degradation of the pectin in the cell wall of the tomatoes and, and hence the ripening is delayed. So this is what happens in the flower sour tomatoes. Thank you. In the next class, we will discuss some other example of the transgenic plants.